Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything, and I am coming at you with another Wargaming in Miniature video. In today's video, we're going to continue on with our What's in the Box series. And in today's What's in the Box, we're going to be taking a look at Wargames Atlantic's Panzer Lear Division. Uh, it's part of their World War II line. Uh, it's their World Ablaze, Second World War. Um, this shows me that you're going to get 30 miniatures in here in 28 millimeter. They look really good. Just on the cover. I was kind of looking around at this box before I started this video. And I noticed, uh, just kind of glancing down here, it's talking about who distributes their models. Because remember, this is War Games Atlantic. They uh, are basically a British and an American company, both sides of the pond. So it's like a, not a conglomeration, what's the word I'm looking for? A collaboration uh, between uh, the UK and the US, uh, you know, partners. Uh, and, but I noticed that there was Sarissa Precision on here. And I was like, why does Sarissa Precision on there have anything to do with this? And uh, maybe it's because they're showing off some of their buildings um, on, on these photos. I don't know. Uh, or maybe uh, it does say that they are distributed in the UK by Sarissa. So maybe these are available on the Sarissa website as well as Mr. Everything's uh, Wargaming and Miniature uh, eBay store. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at actually what you get in this box. Okay, you get plastic sprues. Here's a little anecdote. Okay, these are the big sprues because War Games normally has half sprues, but these sprues are full sprues. Okay, so that's a good sign. Uh, now, my first experience with the Panzer Lear Division was when I was running a command decision campaign called Bastogne uh, because the Bastogne sector, sector in the Battle of the Bulge was attacked by 2nd Panzer Division, 26th Volksgrenadier Division, and the Panzer Lear Division. And Lear basically, my understanding, means training division. Uh, but that just means that the cadre uh, were veterans of wars. So like the sergeants, the officers, and all that were ex very experienced troops because they were trainers. Okay, so now let's take a look at these sprues real quick. And once I get done like evaluating the sprue, we'll zoom in close and we'll take a close look. But the first thing I want to know is... Are all these sprues exactly the same? Okay, so all the sprues are exactly the same. And it looks like you get five sprues in the box. Uh, so that probably is going to tell me that you're going to get six figures per sprue. Let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, obviously. Okay, so six times five sprues is 30 models. So just understand that whatever I show you on this sprue, uh, multiply it by five. Okay. We got some really detailed pieces. I need to kind of get in there and kind of get a grip. Okay, so what do we got? We got some Lugers. So if you get want a couple of guys with just pistols, we got an ammo can. We got a Panzerfaust uh with no arm and then we got a panzerfaust with an arm cradling it uh we got an mg 34 it doesn't look like a 42 that looks like an mg 34 uh that looks like a tool like a spanner and then i have no idea what these are Those might be grenades, individual grenades that you can glue, but um, 
because the Germans actually used two different types of grenades. They used the standard grenade that like the Americans use, which is like a, a ball with a pull pin. But they also use the stick grenade with the potato masher head, which is the most media or movie uh, style grenade. So this might be the the normal hand grenade where there's a bunch of potato mashers right there. Okay, so you could just attach potato mashers. Now, this guy looks like he's got a MP40 magazine in his hand, a couple of potato mashers in their hand, binoculars, pointing. Uh, okay, we've got a rifle with this sling in a position where it looks like it would go over one of the model's shoulders. Uh, he's holding a rifle, he's holding a rifle. Okay. Arms, there's an MP40, couple of them. MG42 as opposed to the MG34, rifle, extra arms. Um, okay, I'm gonna guess that that's supposed to be a belt of ammo. It's really small. It's probably accurately sized. We got an extra MP40, we got a gas can. Another rifle, some arms. This guy's holding a map. Bunch of canteens separate. One, two, three, four, five. They give you six canteens. Okay, there's six guys. I get that. Pistol. We'll look at the heads here in a minute. A couple of haversacks. Uh, only two. Yep, there's only two haversacks. Okay. Uh, looks like uh, MP40 magazine cases or uh, pouches, rifle pouches, and then a bunch of heads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There's fourteen heads. Um, now, after reading the box, it said, depending on what parts you use, you could make them into tank crew, uh, <clears throat> use tools and things like that. Uh, so you could actually make some dismounted tank crew. That sounds good. Uh, and one of these helmets or hats has a headset on it. So he could be part of a tank crew or he could be a radio man, but I don't see any kind of a radio box or anything. And there's only one ammo can. So I would suspect you would use that as your assistant gunner with one of these two machine guns, but you don't have to. If you wanted to be super machine gun heavy, you could go with a 34 and a 42. Okay. The hats are covered. I'm talking about the helmets. Okay. We got some no hats, just hair. We got like the baseball cap style that they wear. We got the officer cap, baseball cap with headset. These two are covered helmets. That's a covered helmet. That's a covered helmet. Covered, covered. Okay, all their helmets are covered. There's no just plain metal helmets. Okay. And they don't look like they're in camouflage smocks, but they also don't look like they're in your standard German uniform. It looks like they're wearing combat boots with gaiters, which they should. I mean, grenadiers were like that. They didn't have the jack boots. 
Okay, let's compare that to some pictures that I'm looking at. Yep, we got a shoulder. Uh, oh, you can't see this. There you go, that might be better. Maybe the focus is off. Okay, hold on. Okay, he's got a machine gun in his hand firing. He's got his machine gun over the shoulder. This guy's got a Panzerfaust at the waist. This guy's reloading his MP40. Uh, he's throwing a potato masher. He's got the map in his hand with a binoculars. And his rifle is actually using that sling I was talking about. And they all have either covered helmets or caps. Okay. Now looking at this picture here, which is what I was looking at earlier. He's got an ammo can in one hand and a spanner. And this guy's got a pistol with the um, headset. And it says, optional tool and equipment arms can be used to create normal tank crews. And then it shows the Panzer Lear troops getting ambushed by their French resistance fighters, which they also sell. Um, yeah, optional tools and equipment can be used to convert them into tank crew. Okay. All right, let's adjust the focus, uh, zoom in on one of these sprues, and let's take a look at the details. All right, now I've started up here with the potato mashers. Right, you got some potato mashers, and then those those other grenades, steel grenades, or steel grenades, or whatever they call them. Right, there's a number of those, so you can mount those. And there's your spanner arms. You got a couple of them ammo can, machine gun firing, okay now that guy's holding a little handle that might be the handle that attaches to the top of this machine gun, yep, and then if you don't have him firing they give you a handle just to attach just for completeness, you got a Panzerfaust, a Panzerfaust in the arm, pistols, basically left and right if you wanted to, you could give a guy and he could be double wielding, okay, uh, gripping arms, binoculars, pointing, potato masher hands, this guy is the one that I was said, look like he's got the, the uh, magazine, Okay. See how his jacket is folded and open. Rifle, different poses for the rifles. Uh, see how they've got combat boots and gaiters. And then there's that one rifle with the sling. MP40 with no magazine. He's probably the one that's reloading. And there's an MP40 with a magazine. There's the other machine gun over the shoulder. Rifle. Various arms. And that's the thing that I was thinking maybe is the ammo. We'll flip it over and we'll see. MP40, or it might be a sling actually for the MP40. Just flipping it over real quick just to take, yeah, it's probably a sling for your MP40. If you want to attach an MP40 over the guy's shoulder, over his neck or whatever. Ammo can, map, couple of fingers, uh, ammo pouches, those are the MP40s. So I'll show you the backside and you'll see. Uh, haversacks, the helmet, inside of the pistol, bunch of canteens. Okay, there's some heads. 
trying to get them in focus so you can really see them. See the detail on these guys. This helmet's a little cocked. There's the headset. Officer, maybe NCOs, and then there's the guys with no hats. Those German haircuts. Okay, flipping it over so you get to see the back side of these figures. Uh, because that's important. Those are all the same. That's pretty much all the same. Spanners. Ammo. Machine gun. Handles. Panzerfaust. Pistols. Binoculars pointing. Potato mashers, magazine, and then this would be the backside of the troops. Oh, okay, he's got a haversack. Okay, so there's one. Okay, so that's all three of them would have a haversack. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Shooting, maybe loading or just low carry. Rifle. There's another haversack, and there's another one. So that makes all, that makes five haversacks I counted. Okay. The three on the models and the two off to the side. Machine gun, rifle. Yeah, it's got to be a sling for that MP40 if you wanted to do it that way. Map. Fingers, rifle, ammo pouches, and there you can see those are MP40 magazine pouches. The helmet, a little bit of hair shining through in the bottom. Canteens. Lastly, it's the back side of the head, helmets. All right, so that was the Panzer Lear Division, uh, basically a platoon of five sprues of six guys each. Uh, now this this shows a, uh, a a grenade tucked in his belt. That could be done because you could glue the grenade on, and then you could glue the ammo pouches that are extra. There's a couple of ammo pouches over that to make that effect you could do that uh, notice how they're mostly field gray with maybe a camouflage cover um, okay let's take a look yeah it's the same picture on every side so okay but their website's got a bunch of additional photos of their uh, models uh, i might show them up here just so you can kind of see what potentials you have all right guys well thanks for coming out and watching this what's in the box the panzer lear division uh and i will see you in the next one